Hello, this is Corinna Balderson with the Tampa Hillsborough County Public Library, and I have a great resource to share with you today. Adult coloring became popular a few years ago as a way to relieve stress, and I think we could all use a bit of that right now. You can find a great number of already made coloring pages online with a quick search for images in your favorite search engine. Look for images that are large with sharp line structures to make it easier to see and paint with. I'm a huge fan of mandalas, which is based on patterns and can give you a stunning final product. Once you find the image you would like to color, go ahead and save it to your computer by right-clicking on the image and using the Save Image As function. This way you can have a copy of it on your computer. Now let's open up the Paint 3D software. Paint 3D is an upgraded version of the Microsoft Paint program. It is very intuitive and gives you a number of options when editing images. Windows 10 computers will already have this software downloaded, so you'll just need to select the application to bring it up. Older computers will need to download the free software from Microsoft directly, but it is well worth the download. Now that we have it up, we need to choose Open and then Browse Files. You will most likely find your saved image in Downloads or Pictures depending on the settings your computer has when saving images. Once you have your coloring page up is when the fun begins. On the upper right hand side you see the different tools that are available for you but for this activity you would want to start with the paint can icon. At the bottom you can see several colors to choose from. When you select a color you are ready to start coloring but first let's actually make the image larger to make it easier for everyone. At the top here you see the minus and the plus. This is a zoom in and out function. When you slide the bar over it will actually make the image larger and make it easier for you to paint. Simply find white area in the image and click on it. This will fill the area you've clicked upon and you can continue going. If you accidentally click on a line you might see the whole page change. To fix this go to the top where there is an undo button. Simply select it and it will go back to where it was before. Now there are only so many colors available when you first start up the program, but you can find many more by selecting the current color. This allows you to edit the color by gradients and brightness. The gradient bar is at the bottom and you can move it to the left and the right in order to change the color. Using the brightness and contrast box, you can move it around in order to change the way you would like the color to be seen. When you find the color you like, hit OK and it will automatically turn into your current color. From there you can continue painting using that new color you just made. Now it is up to you to add your own creativity to your project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and will have fun trying something new today. Have a great day.